Hey guys! So if you saw the video that I posted about how to set goals and my own personal goals for 2018, you will know that one of the major things I stated as a goal of mine was to create more finished pieces this year. I felt as though I had done a lot of sketchbook work in 2017, and though that wasn't necessarily a bad thing, and I definitely learned a lot from it, I wanted to push myself to finish things. Because of this, I have actually started quite a few different projects. Some are digital and some are traditional artwork, but I have a lot of works in progresses right now. Possibly too many? Hopefully, as I get more into the idea of creating more finished pieces of artwork, that will sort of die down a little bit and I'll be able to focus more efficiently. Before I really get into the meat of today's video, which is actually going to be some tips that will act as a sort of follow-up to the how to set goals video, I want to give a brief overview of how I came up with the idea for this painting. And to put it very simply, I didn't have an idea. I've been feeling kind of art blocked for the past week or so, perhaps even longer than that. It was something about the holidays. I was having a little bit of a moment and nothing really seemed to be flowing the way that I wanted it to. However, I knew that I wanted to do a series of small paintings. I didn't want anything too big or lofty, at least not at this point in the year. I wanted something small that I could complete fairly quickly and actually execute well. Something I could use to test out different techniques and not necessarily be as scared of ruining something because I had done it fairly quickly. And so I cut down some watercolor paper and I just started drawing. And this was one of the very first ones that I did. I knew that I liked the look of koi fish and for some reason that I'm still not quite sure about, they came into my head. And instead of hesitating and second guessing myself and asking, well, do I really want to draw a koi fish? I just drew a koi fish. And then I drew another one to create a more interesting composition. And a lot of the other small paintings that I ended up sketching out were done in very much the same way. I drew something because I wanted to draw it, and anything else that became an element of the composition was almost an afterthought. Now this isn't necessarily the best way to create pieces with superb composition, but when you're experiencing an art block, you don't necessarily want to go through the process of doing thumbnails and color comps. You just want to draw. And typically I do this in my sketchbook, but because my goal for this year was to create more finished pieces of artwork, I decided to throw caution to the wind and use watercolor paper instead. And for me, this is the best way to get rid of art block, is to simply draw. Try not to think too hard about it, just draw the first thing that comes to your head. So with the inspiration, or lack thereof, for this piece out of the way, I want to get a little bit into some tips I have for actually achieving the goals that you set, likely based on the guidelines I set in my How to Set Art Goals video. And my first tip for this is something that I've actually already mentioned, and that is to keep it small. Sometimes, especially with the beginning of a new year or even the beginning of a new week, we tend to set our expectations for ourselves so absurdly high that it becomes overwhelming. But we forget that we have the whole year, or really our whole lives, to complete the things that we're setting out to achieve. I wanted to create finished pieces, and so I started, I think, nine or ten different pieces. And that wasn't necessarily keeping it as small as I would have liked. And because of this, I can become overwhelmed with the options of what I have to work on very easily. However, especially with these small little watercolor paintings, they are tiny. 
the size of the watercolor paper is actually only four inches by six inches. And this specific piece only took me about 35 minutes to complete. Of course, if I would have had to let the watercolor paint dry on its own and I didn't have a heat tool, it would have taken longer. But the small size made completing a finished piece of artwork much more achievable. The next tip I have for you is very similar to the last one, but it is simply to continuously plug away at the goals. Again, you don't have to do everything all at once. In fact, that's borderline impossible, and if it's not impossible, it's incredibly stressful. Try to look at your goals from a perspective that's a little bit further away than you're used to looking at them. Find tiny ways to work you towards your goals. If your goal is to complete a series of 10 paintings, for example, maybe one way you can step towards that is to thumbnail one of the pieces. It's a very small act and it probably won't take as long as completing a painting, and so that makes it much easier for you to work towards it. Another way of keeping yourself on track to achieve your goals is kind of self-explanatory, but I think it bears mentioning. And this is to continuously remind yourself of the goals that you have set. Sometimes we become so caught up in our day-to-day -day lives that we forget the broad overview that is our goals. So if you're constantly reminding yourself, oh, these are the things that I set out to do this year, you will be much less likely to become complacent and you'll be much less likely to forget about your goals in the first place. And the final tip I have for you on completing or achieving your goals is not to give up. I know we're not really that far into the year yet, but some of you may already be feeling like you have failed in some way especially if you set some kind of 365 day project and you haven't caught up with it or stayed up to date with it. This is one of the main reasons that I tend to pull away from 365 day projects in the first place, but regardless, don't give up. If you miss a day, you miss a week or even a month or more, don't give up. It's never too late to start back up and progress towards your goals. I know that I can often become very overwhelmed by the idea of not doing everything that I want to be doing, but it's not worth the stress that comes from constantly beating yourself up over it. Instead, try to look at it as a day-by-day -day sort of thing. You're going to slip up. We're human. If for some reason you are able to not slip up, please share your tips with us because we all need it. But know that even people that consistently make art or achieve things have bad days. So I hope this video was helpful to you in some way. Thank you all for watching. You can subscribe if you'd like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.